All right, today I want to review the Asus Chromebit. Back here you have a USB port, you have a power port, and then underneath here you have an HDMI plug. Um, this is very similar to this, a Chromecast. There is a price difference. The Chromecast version 1 is about 30 bucks, has a micro USB adapter, and plugs into your TV or monitor. And then the Chrome bit is about $90 and plugs into your TV or monitor um, with a AC adapter. Now which one you would prefer is kind of based on your needs. If you're just interested in streaming Netflix um, or maybe just streaming your Chromebook to this device, um, that would work Great, and it's more inexpensive, so I'd probably recommend this. But if you want to use the full Chrome operating system, I would recommend upgrading to one of these. This is the Chrome bit, can plug in USB devices, and the USB device that I use a lot is this one right here, plugs in right there, and it is the Logitech K400 Plus keyboard. It works really well with this, and it's nice and easy to carry around. Um, one advantage to it over something like a Chromebook is that if you are just trying to plug into a projector and project something, um, do a presentation, thing like things like that, this is more apt for that kind of application because you can access your Google Slides and do your presentation. You don't have to bother with syncing the Chromecast and the Chromebook and doing all of that, or running an HDMI cable from your Chromebook into a projector, etc. So I would say this is better for projector purposes, as well as like just turning your TV into a full functioning Chromebook. I'm going to show you some um, videos on how to plug it in into the back of your TV, and then I'm also going to show you some videos on how it functions on my TV. Okay, plugging in the Chrome bit is dead simple. All you need to do is Grab your AC plug right here, plug it into the Chrome bit, and then back into your HDMI port on your TV. And there you go, you're plugged in. Okay, so this is the Asus Chrome bit, and this is the Chrome OS system, and it syncs up to my Chromebook, as you can see down here, it has all the same um, desktop icons or shelf icons. Um, you can open up Google Chrome. You could do a search in Google Chrome for something like Pixabay or, you know, and look up photos, whatever. Um, you have your drive so you can access files. Um, this is one of the main advantages of, say, like a Chrome bit. Um, say you had a presentation that you had to do for work, etc., and you go down to your sample presentation. You could make some maybe last minute adjustments um, before you were to give the presentation and then uh, you can also use the Chrome bit to do the presentation. So you can go to file, um, oh, sorry, present. It will go into the full screen present mode. Um, and then of course you can click through and you have your slides there that you made previously. And I actually threw this little sample presentation together on the Chrome bit just real fast. You know, you can add in new pages and things like that. You can add in two columns for your sample presentation. Some last minute stuff comes in or you need to adjust something, a chart, etc. You can do that real fast um, before you give your presentation. And, you know, I've been in situations like that where I've needed to adjust pretty quickly, um, and this tool allows you to do that. Now, a Chromebook would allow you the same opportunities, but once again, the nice thing about the Chrome bit versus a Chromebook is that all you have to carry is that little um, stick in your bag. You don't have to have a full Chromebook with a screen that you wouldn't necessarily want to use anyway. Um, it just once again, kind of depends on your your usage. Um, you can have multiple tabs open. You can 
use Gmail and things like that. Um, it's not going to be as substantial as some of the other um, Chromebook devices, etc., out there. So it might not be the way you want to go. But if you're doing simple computing tasks and things like that, you're throwing together maybe a Google Doc or you're, you have a Google presentation that you have to do, slides, um, or you're, you, know, you have something that you want to display or show people how to use Chrome, et cetera, it's a great tool for that. Um, you can also, one of the nice things that I think makes this better than a Chromecast is say you have it at home plugged in um, and you want to access your movies that you have saved onto a hard drive on one of your computers or something like that. You want to access files from your main computer because the Chrome bit and Chromebooks and things like that don't have a lot of storage space on them. They save to things like the drive. But there are also other things that you keep maybe on your personal computer or uh, programs that you can only operate from Windows, etc. So you can actually access those through this Chrome Remote Desktop. And I can click on to my PC over there and it is running Pro Tools right now, which is what I'm recording the sound through in this video. But as you can see, I can monitor that. I can open up different things or use, utilize programs on my PC. Um, without having to go to my desktop computer or you can have it for laptops too, but its main use I think is for things like desktop computers. You can access um, files and things like that from your desktop home computer um, at work. Um, you can go in and remote into your uh, PC back at home and get those files. It also has lots of different apps that you can um, watch that maybe don't sync with Chromecast if you have like an iPhone or something like that. If you have an Android phone, you can always just display your screen on the Chromecast. But if you have an iPhone, your apps are limited. So I mean, you can have things like Flickster, etc. Um, open there. Um, it also, you know, you can search on the web store. They're always adding in more and more things onto Google's web store. But overall, what it's used for and its intended purpose is really great.